All right, so goes the beginning tales of the mothership display trailer for affordable solar MR. Worked on this for uh, a couple weeks. It started out life as a uh, uh, primered metal box and in uh, an old beat up trailer. We kind of spiffed it up and added some stuff. You guys will get a kick out of this video. Got two 230 watt solar panels. Has a 10 inch solar sun tube. We got to get busy and put the other banner on here. As with all of our display trailers, this one will also have a wind turbine. We want uh, to showcase everything we have: solar hot water, wind, solar PV sun tunnels, off-grid, grid tie, um, you name it, the whole, the whole shebang. So this trailer's got it all. So I have my cup of noodle, and I have my bottle of water, but it's cold water, and I need hot water. Oh, what can I do? We got a 12-volt outlet in there, and Aha, uh -huh. there is a 12 volt thing that will heat my water. Now we give it about 10 minutes and I'll be ready to make some soup. All right, while my water is warming up for my lunch, let me give you a grand tour here of the solar trailer. So in here, we have our 32 inch TV. Here's our charge controller for the wind and solar. And as you can see, I turned down the radio here. We're in the shade um, right now, so it's a 24 volt system. The battery bank is at 24.8 volts. Um, the panels are getting 25.5 volts in, but as you can see, it's only getting about one amp um, because we're in the shade. Here we have our 2500 watt power inverter with 5000 watt surge. Power strip, we have the outlets wired up. Our light switch here for our LED lighting that we still got to button up all the wires there uh, here is the battery bank the powerhouse of it gotta clean that glass still got some finishing touches to do here and nice plush carpet and uh, jump in here and roll around uh, there's a little Coleman refrigerator, 5,000 BTU air conditioner. It gets frigid in here. And uh, there's the sun tunnel. It's actually amazing how much light that puts out. Hey, I'm going to have him close the door. It's amazing how bright that sun tunnel is. So. Just finishing up the uh, final touches in here, and we will be ready to go. My water is getting toasty warm here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be eating lunch here soon. And uh, what we've got here on the outside for anybody to use is 110 volt and 220. We got all that there as well. There's uh, what you're not seeing in there is another inverter that hasn't been installed yet. It's a uh, 24 volt uh, inverter that'll uh, convert it to 220 and that's what will wire up to that outlet there. Okay, it's been about 12 minutes. 
see if my water's ready because I'm hungry. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a bubbling. Oh yeah, time to eat. All right, so now that we've uh, completed testing of the hot water panel and we know it works, we got it mounted up there and uh, we'll just tuck the tubes in and uh, have them accessible so when you take it out somewhere you just uh, drop them down into a I don't know like a 40 50 gallon barrel uh, fill the barrel up with water and recirculate it in the sun all day and then you'll have nice hot shower water at night um, the, the sun is beating down on this panel pretty good now so we can see in here what we're at on the charge controller uh, Yeah, see, it's uh, got 7.2 amps coming in off of that panel right now. And you see the, the little square bars on the side, they go all the way up to the top. So when they reach the top, the batteries are full. So we've, uh, we've run this down. The trailer was in the shop um, for weeks while we worked on it. And we used the batteries the whole time. So they need a little bit of charge. 